100% of the administration staff and uh, the production crew are local hires. And a lot of people are active as different roles in the community. A lot of people know each other from different functions. Um, so certainly that that is a local organization from that aspect. The jobs there are very local. Um, in order to preserve the remaining jobs that we have, the most important thing that, that we need to look at is extending the line of money. And um, we only have enough reserves right now in order to run at the level we need to to break even uh, for eight years. Uh, eight years of material is not <coughs> enough to get our customers or our investors to make the decisions that um, we need them to make in order to preserve the company and the jobs. And um, again, at that, that break even level, it's, it's really eight years that we're looking at Um, in the past, we've complied uh, with everything that the county has put forth in the agreement. And um, at this stage, I, I don't really know if we can convert the customers that we need to to keep us going um, because we've been going for a year at this rate. And I don't know if we can get the funding that we need in order to preserve those jobs. Uh, we really needed to have this wrapped up a lot earlier. But um, and I, I'm not here to um, put an ultimatum out there or anything like that, just really to say that um, on the record that we've complied with everything and um, we're still here with no progress. And so I would just urge you, um, again, I, I don't know if it'll make the difference at this point, but I know that not having it will make the difference. I just urge that as soon as possible we can just get an answer so that we can um, move forward with our employees. Thank you very much. Thank you. Can I ask you some questions? Yeah. <clears throat> now, we uh, had a lull where we didn't hear anything from um, Mr. Fish, the attorney, for about almost a year. And so it's Bob, good. could you talk a little louder? I'm talking to your Let me get closer to this. Thank, thing. thank you very much. We, I was commenting that we spent almost a year waiting for Mr. Fish, the, the attorney for ORC, to come back and, and uh, Address the county, and they were maybe waiting, waiting, and I thought, well, during that year, I thought they were getting their plant up and running in, getting their mining operation going, and so they really didn't have time for all that. But there was a year there that nothing happened, and now we put forth a proposal to uh, Mr. Fish, and they've had a little bit of, of contact with our attorney for Mr. Fish, nothing really where we're going forward, so we're waiting. Okay, and, and actually on our side, I think we were, we agreed with everything we saw from the county, and we, we were waiting on the county, so. Uh, we were waiting, we were waiting. Yeah, that's off. true for the county part, so. <coughs> yeah, that's, that's there, there's there's yeah. Yeah. But we're talking about the county itself. Um, right, and actually, I, I'm talking right now just about access to the third parties. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I thought you were talking about the county property lease rather than the third party lease. Yeah, you know, actually all of it helps, um, but the one that's really the closest to getting over the goal line is the, the Kimberly <coughs> that we have that agreement done, and we're just looking at access at this stage. Okay. And as a side note, I, I believe that that uh, discussion is, is scheduled for the 26th, and hopefully we'll be able